Hello. So when I uh, was in college, I was in London for a semester, and I was in Hyde Park at Speaker's Corner, and I loved the Speaker's Corner and the guys up on the soapboxes. I don't have a soapbox very often, so I'm going to use my soapbox for just a second to say, if you are offended by the Batman villain who has been elected president, <laughs> do something about it. Our city did something about it today. today. Give to organizations. Give to the ACLU, give to the Southern Poverty Law Center, and stand up and let your voice be heard. All right, so a couple months ago, I was supposed to do this storytelling bit, and uh, I was dunderheaded enough that I messed up the dates, and so I wasn't here, and I had the story all planned, and so it's either now or never for the story. Um, I was a big uh, debate nerd in high school. I know that's probably shocking that you're all just shocked about that, but I, I loved the activity and it formed, it was very formative and all my best friends today uh, came from that activity. I practiced law with one of my best friends who I've known since high school through that activity and I loved it. And so my senior year, um, the, the topic was healthcare, and I'm going to get into you know, some, some minutia of the activity, and it's going to get pretty nerdy, but there's a punchline, so bear with me. So the topic was healthcare, and um, the affirmative team was supposed to propose a plan that guaranteed healthcare to all citizens. That was the topic for the year, and this was the state tournament towards the end of the year, and uh, we, were, we were amped up, and we wanted, to, we wanted to do really well at the state tournament. The problem was, uh, our coach, he screwed up our entrance form, and it, it didn't get in on time. And there was this uh, brouhaha of whether we were even going to be able to, to compete. And I kind of flipped out right before the tournament, didn't know what to do. And so I, I did what a kid should do. I, I called my, my dad. Um, <laughs> It just so happened that I called my dad at my dad's law office, and I uh, talked to one of my dad's colleagues and, and told him what was going on, and, and ultimately it wasn't such a big deal, and they, they let us in, but somehow it spread like scuttlebutt that, that Friedman had called his daddy at the law office. <laughs> so, so we do pretty well at the tournament, and we're, we're in the elimination rounds, and we were, um, we were going to debate uh, our, our good friends, Brian and Aaron, and we had, we had debated them uh, several times, and we had not yet been successful, and they ran these, these quirky arguments that were vexing, and we, we, we had planned, damn it, we were going to beat these guys, it's, it's now or never, <laughs> um, and so we, we had a plan to, to beat them. And when Brian and Aaron were on the affirmative that year, um, again, Guarantee health care to all U.S. citizens with a, with a plan. Health insurance. Health insurance. There he is. Brian's here with us tonight. Um, uh, so, so and, and when you're on the affirmative team, it's your, it's your duty to actually have a plan that, that illustrates the resolution. And if you don't, you can lose. If you don't have a plan that does what the resolution says you're supposed to do, then you're not topical. You're not in the rules of the game. And so Brian and Aaron, their plan was just to have the Supreme Court guarantee health insurance a right. Now, ironically, something I frankly agree with, um, but our, our point was, you know, they, they, this, the, the court guarantees health care a right, but how does anybody get the health care? How does anyone get health care after this happens, after they wave their wand and say it's a right? You know, the next day, how do I get my health care? And so they get up and they talk about their plan and, and how great it's going to be and what it's going to do and, and all the effects that are going to come. And I get up in the cross-examination and I'm just, I'm just asking the question time and again, Brian, how do I get my health care? Day after your plan, what happens? And he's like, oh, you're heaven and Han, Brian. You are heaven and Han away. And I keep asking this question, and finally he just says, well, well Dan, you just call your dad. <laughs> and he shut me down. It was, 
It is a room full of high school kids and other debate nerds and judges, and man, you shut me down. And uh, got a big laugh, and I lost the round. <laughs> On a 2-1, but we got the best judge. And that's my story.